Well, it's one of the showbiz events of the year, the glorious celebration of celebrities that is the MTV Movie Awards. First up, the latest on the ball, but stay tuned for possibly the funniest live prank in TV history. At five, well, let's kick off with some sad news. The real star of Britain's Got Talent, Susan Boyle, has been more affected by the show than first thought, and been admitted into Celebrity Rehab Clinic, the Priory, for psychological observation. She shocked fans at the weekend with some obscure reactions to the massive occasion, but fear not, Subo fans, because we caught up with Piers Morgan to see how she was doing, and he assured us she'll be back to her best soon. And the problems she's been having are really with the attention, not the show. Um, she's found this global media obsession with her uh, uncomfortable. And when it turned negative last week, and you know, I did come out and warn people to back off a bit because we could sense she was finding it very hard. But come the night, she was amazing. And I think that what she needs now is a bit of space, a bit of rest, and she'll be fine. At four. Right, the bad news out of the way, let's go on to more happy thoughts. And nothing is more so than a bit of Disney loving. And the MTV Movie Awards last night, arguably their biggest stars, Zac Efron, Ashley Tisdale and Miley Cyrus, all picked up popcorn gongs. Ah, uh, they really do honour the most talented individuals at this awards, don't they? But there was no award for Vanessa Hutchins, who looked on enviously at Kristen Stewart, who took home Best Female Newcomer, and perhaps her green eyes weren't just work-related. Yes, because at three, how many teenagers around the world wishes this was them? Robert Pattinson and Kirsten Stewart toying with the crowd after picking up Best Screen Kiss at the MTV Movie Awards. Just another gong for the pair who are quickly becoming mega stars in the States. Pattinson picked up Best Newcomer to go with his co-stars, but it was the sexy looks that made the audience attention brick up. Number two. Well, he's a hero, isn't he, old Jim Carrey, who not for the first time came up with a witty way to accept his best comedy performance last night. QVT. I am so grateful for this award. And... That's when it happened. I went totally blank. Uh... I had written a funny speech, but I couldn't remember what it was. It was like someone took a spoon and scooped my mind out. And flying in at number one, not to be upstaged by Kerry, brace yourselves for one of the funniest things you're likely to see all year. Bruno arrived very low key, trying not to draw attention to himself. I'm just trying to slip in, you know, I've come in really understated. You know, I'm not like these guys trying to promote their films. Mine's coming out so July the 10th, you know? But that was before his massive entrance. But oh no, travesty of travesties, the stunt failed and landed the gay fashion guru crotch first on the mouth of megastar Eminem. We can't tell you what Marshall said because it was just too rude, but he wasn't happy as his mind has removed Sasha Baron Cohen's character's bum from his face. When Bruno announced the result of the award he was handing out, winner Zac Efron didn't really know what was going on. It's the coolest way I've ever been invited up to accept one of these. Thank you. But after storming out, Mr. Shady returned to perform his latest track, fueling speculation. It was all an elaborate but brilliantly executed prank. So he does have a sense of humour after all. Or does he? Well, we'll see. But until we're back next time, let's enjoy that moment again. Have a good one.